Whether you're creating a manga, comic, light novel, or a regular novel, all authors want to protect their copyrights in order to ensure that their creative property is safe. Today I want to discuss how you can protect the copyrights of your book, no matter how you intend to publish it, to keep your book as safe as possible in the long run. Copyrights. A copyright is a type of intellectual property and it gives the owner the exclusive right to make copies of a creative work. This type of law usually applies to literacy, art and music. Essentially, what a copyright means is that when someone has a copyright, it means that they have the right to be able to copy and make other copies of their work. So when it comes to book copywriting, by getting a book copyright, it means that it's a legal way to protect an author's work to ensure that that author's work is not reproduced or republished without the author's permission. Now keep in mind that I am not a legal expert and while the tips in this video may help you to better protect your manga, comic or light novel, these are just tips and advice from one writer to another and these are not advice from an actual legal expert. In any case, it is my hope that the tips in this video help you to better secure the copyrights and protection of your books and creative works and keep them as safe as possible in the long run. Registering your copyright. Depending on your country, you may not necessarily have to register for a copyright. For example, if you're in Australia, copyright laws cover a creator's work right when the work is created, so you don't actually have to pay money to copyright something. It is already legally yours from the moment you put the pen to the paper. It is important to check in your country to see what the laws are for copyrights and how they might apply to you. Simply search copyright laws for books and your country name. Assuming that you might be from the United States, you will actually need to register for a copyright in order to copyright your book. To do this, you need to go to the US Copyright Office website, which is www.copyright.gov. Then click on register your work. You will then be prompted to register for an account. From there, you can follow the steps to register a copyright for your literacy work. You will need to fill out a form and pay a fee. You also need to send through a final copy of your work, which can be through a hard copy sent to their office, or you can send them an electronic copy. A copyright protection will typically last for the lifetime of an author plus 70 years. And keep in mind that your book doesn't have to be officially published in order for you to be able to register for a copyright. You just need to have a final version at the very least in order to be able to copyright it. Make sure that when you are registering for a copyright that you are doing it through an official website. We can tell that this is official from the .gov at the end of the web link. But there are some websites out there that may be fakes or scams so please be careful. Registering for an ISBN While an ISBN doesn't help to give you any more copyright protection, it does help you to prove that you are the rightful owner of the book. An ISBN is a unique international identifier for monographic publications. It's a code that will be linked with your book so that when the code is searched online or looked up in a catalogue, your book can be found much more easily. When you are creating a copyright page at the front of the book, having an ISBN will help you to further show the identity of the book. If you wish to register for an ISBN and you live in the United States, you can go to www.myidentifiers.com. Once you are there, you can buy one ISBN or buy multiple ISBNs in bulk if you plan to have multiple versions of your book or multiple books. If you wish to have a physical copy of your book, you could purchase an ISBN which has a barcode attached to it, which can easily be put on the back of a book so it can be easily scanned and catalogued. Once you have an ISBN, it can be easier to create a copyright page for your book. Creating a copyright page. While a copyright page doesn't legally protect your book unless you are registered for a copyright, it can help to deter people from wanting to steal or copy your work because they can see that you are the rightful owner of the book, so it'll be more likely to deter people from stealing it. A copyright page should include your name, the year of publication, the ISBN of the book, a statement about your rights reserved, and where your book is published if applicable. Here is a template you can follow if you want to create your own. How to protect unpublished works. Protecting unpublished works is a little bit more difficult, but as I mentioned before, if you have a more finalized copy of your book, you can register for a copyright if you are in the United States by going to the United States Copyright Office online to register for a copyright for that work. If you are not in the US, you can look up the copyright laws in your country and see what you need to do to best protect your book in your country. 
Keep in mind that some countries automatically have copyright laws to protect your copyrights. Keep in mind that a copyright can protect the expression of an idea, but not the idea itself. So if your book is only a concept so far and you just have some ideas, you can't actually copyright protect those ideas. Anyone can develop a story in different ways. Even if they're working from one main idea, they can all change the story in different ways and express that story in different ways. And so it is the expression of the story that can be copyrighted and not the idea itself. The way you express the idea is what can be copyrighted. Once you have an idea and you have written it as a story in a more finalized form, you can officially copyright that. If you are working with others when creating your book, it might be wise to create a contract or terms of service to better protect your book when you are working with other people. For example, if you're working with an editor, a scriptwriter, or artist, you might want to prepare a contract or some terms when you're working with them to better work with them more easily and to ensure your copyrights. For example, in order to ensure that an unpublished work doesn't get stolen, you could prepare a contract detailing that the creative work is owned by you and that your story is not to be disclosed or shared with any third party. When sharing a webcomic online, these copyright laws still apply. If you are in the US, you can also register a webcomic in its more finalized form for an official copyright. When sharing any previews of your work online, be careful about how much you reveal. Any images of characters or excerpts from your book can be shared at your own discretion, but be aware that you can't protect absolutely everything, but it's important to be wary when you are sharing certain details about your story online. How to protect your book internationally. If you wish to sell your book overseas and you want to protect your copyrights as much as possible, the first thing you should do is get a copyright in your home country because that is one of the best ways to do it. And legally, it means that if you have a copyright in your home country, it's going to be a lot easier for your copyrights to be secured in other countries. From there, if you want to sell your book internationally, one of the first things to do is look up online the country that you want to sell your book in and see if that country has signed an international copyright treaty. For example, if you have published and copyrighted your book in your country, there are laws such as the Berne Convention, which protects your book internationally if reproduced in a select group of countries who have signed the copyright law. There is also the Universal Copyright Convention, the UCC, and this is a law that was established to incorporate a large number of countries into the International Copyright Treaty. However, in order for a work to be protected under the laws of UCC, a copyright symbol, name and date of first publication should be included on a book in order to show and state your copyright. This is why a copyright page at the front of your book can be very helpful. So if applicable, purchasing a copyright in your country for your book is one of the best ways to protect your book and in most cases it will keep your book safe from anyone stealing your work. In most cases it should protect you due to the international copyright laws that exist in other countries. Even if you're creating something like a webcomic, you can still add a copyright page at the start of your book if you own a copyright for it or you can just add a place in your webcomic where you state your rights and let your audience know that you own that work. Going into publishing and producing a manga comic or light novel is a really exciting process and it's important to protect your copyrights in the process of doing that. I hope that this video can help you to better protect your rights and ensure that your creative work is safe from copyright infringement. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!